everybody. We <laughs> we're on our way to um, try to go to Squirrel Cage Jail again. We looked into it this time. We went online. We bought our tickets because of COVID. You can't just show up anymore. So when there's a time to visit, they give you 45 minutes and they're going to take us around in the jail. So anyway, just some background on the Squirrel Cage Jail. It was um, one of 18 jails that were built like this. They're round and the cells are pie shaped. Um, it was built so that one jailer could run the whole thing because you can only let one prisoner out at a time the way it's built and set up. And, once we get in there, we'll show you some images of the way it looks. They, I, I know from being there last time, they have a small um, model of it. So, but it was built in 1885. It was closed as a jail in 1969 because it was super dangerous because of the way it's set up and you can only let one prisoner out on each level at a time. It was a a safety hazard because if there was a fire you something. could not get everybody out in time. Later on the Historical Society led an effort to save the jail because they were going to demolish it. So um, that was in 1977 and the Historical Society owns and operates it now. And they do regular tours as well as during the month of October they do flashlight tours in the evenings. So we may come back for one of those. One of us may come back. Uh, well, I've always wanted to do it, but and I'm a scaredy cat, but I think Kevin's even more scared. So he yeah. says he wants to stay outside. I'm making him go in though. Nope. Yes. Um, so anyway, as I was saying, it's one of 18 revolving or squirrel cage jails. Um, and now there's only three of them left in the U.S. But this one is the largest one. It has the most stories. It's three stories tall. Um, the rest of them that were built in the country are all smaller than that with one or two stories in them. This three-story one at the time cost $30,000 to build. It was designed and patented in 1881 by William H. Brown and Benjamin, and I don't know if I'm saying this right, Ho, How, H-O-U-G-H is all I know. Um, they were both from Indianapolis, Indiana, and that's where one of the other ones is still standing. But anyway, it's said to be haunted. Many of the workers have experienced paranormal activity in some form or another. Um, but we're excited to take you around there and um, the tour guide will hopefully have some more information for us when we get in there. Oh, and I should tell you too where that Squirrel Cage Jail is located is in Council Bluffs, Iowa, which is only like an hour drive for us from where we live. So, there before, we went there about 10 or 12 years ago. Uh, living where we live, there's not a ton of exciting places to go, so I think we ended up coming across this when we were when we were entertaining his parents from England. So the cage is made of steel. And so even from here to the office, there's a temperature difference. Go ahead and try it. Yeah, I'm like yeah. Okay. Oh my god, it's cold in here. Yeah. I remember that from last time. Do you? Yeah. I remember those. Uh-huh. Maybe you were in there. I <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I mean, look, my shoulders have two mm -hmm. different sides. I'm going to shut you and see if you can turn around. Oh my god. <laughs> I mean, I can, but there I go. <laughs> <laughs> Just barely. I mean, yeah, that would make me go. Uh, most of the items here in the kitchen are our original designs to the light. Uh, this is the stove that uh, is the original for the building. Uh, that was also the only source of yeah, so the wife of the jailer would uh, heat coal in there and just really hot buckets of coal around the building. Okay. And that was it for heat. Um, the jailer, his wife, and family actually lived here in, in the building. 
Yeah, that was kind of the idea, wasn't it, that he could stay here 24 hours a day and be the only one here to have to take care of the Right, yeah, he had the main job, and the wife had, on the general, had the worst job, in my opinion. Uh, there is, or was, I should say, out this door, right? Can you kind of tell us it's more industrial? But sure. you call it the summer kitchen? That was torn down when they closed the jail, as the jail. So you take note of this, and then here is the open version. Uh, you'll find these on all three levels. We call those grub holes or pass-throughs. Oh, yeah, I was going to say where they put the food through. Mm -hmm. And last year we had the ghost adventure team came. So That's the one we were watching, That's, I think. Yeah. 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 yeah that was a longer episode. Yeah, because they focused more on wanting to see if they could experience anything yeah. paranormal. Have you experienced anything mm -hmm. paranormal? What I, um, we've both been here about the same amount of time, about four and a half years. I've never seen anything, but I've, but I've, but I've heard stuff. Um, I've heard voices. I've heard shuffling, not cars, feet. Yeah. Um, and that was in the kitchen, and then above when you put the signal to the kitchen, and I've heard there's stuff there. Um, yeah. Fourth floor has a music box, and it's, it's, it has played yeah. its own. No, I, I'll see you in the car. <laughs> <laughs> It's just there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, that was a. I was the first one here, and I got to the fourth floor to do the lights, and that kind of thing. So I was like here, and from that side is where I heard this room. <laughs> <laughs> so here, uh, here's our model of the jail. Uh, there's the three floors of cells, all the same size, so they're pie shaped. So if this part of the building was full, that's 60. And if other parts are full, the jail building can comfortably house 90. Wow. But originally, there was one way in, one way out per floor. So let's say this is going to be your cell. They would have to rotate the building with a hand crank to over here. Then you go in, this gate would be closed. And then maybe it's this guy's turn to be released, for example. Same thing. So it would open up all three levels, though? It could, yeah. but with only uh, two employees, the wife and the jailer, these other doors and would stay closed. Mm -hmm. yeah. OK, that's okay. yeah. And everybody went for a ride, as you can see. <laughs> that is so crazy. So with the fire marshal's demands, <laughs> in, in 1960, everything changed. So the fire marshal said, well, you know, it's really not safe. Well, it's not. Mm -hmm. right. yeah. If there's a fire. Uh, who maybe this person back here wouldn't be able to get out anytime. Yep. 
Um, so not likely in a steel building, but it was possible. Um, so he said cut openings in the cells. You and I can step in and out of the cells today. That's how it was the last nine years. He said put in a fire escape. We'll be going at that. He also said disable the mechanism. So where it sits today is where it has been sitting since then. Okay. But they still used the jail for nine more years. It wasn't as safe for the jailer, as you can imagine. Mm -hmm. right. But back here, it was more of like a free for all. So, so, so what actually powered the turning of this? What kind of motor is that? Um, originally, there was a water motor, okay. uh, which didn't last for very long, and, but we've always had a crank per floor. Mm -hmm. Okay. And there's one left, and you'll get to see that on the second floor. I mean, it was a practical idea. Mm -hmm. Just not safe. <laughs> how much, does anybody know how much this structure actually weighs? Yes. 90,000 pounds. Yeah. Or the cage. For this part, I'm not sure. <laughs> All right, let's go in the jail. Okay. The very back of the cell is what? Bathroom. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Some people say is that the fireplace? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and they're serious. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes the kids will say, well, <laughs> so yes, the first indoor plumbing here in town was right here in this building. Every cell has a toilet. The jailer did not. He had an outhouse. Not very fair, <laughs> but understand. Right. Yeah, these beds are coming too. I mean, I suppose they're long enough, really, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. for as tiny as a room, though. Yeah. And uh, every cell also had a uh, bench. So this is the only thing that's all the graffiti in the building is original as well. So there's a peace sign up here, and this is somebody's name, I think. You could achieve that with what's left of your cigarette. Uh, you could also um, use coal, because once that was coal, sure. that would work, or roll up newspaper tightly, light it, uh, blow it out, and use that. Huh? Uh, this we have stayed, of course it's fake cars, but this gives you a good feel what it would have been like originally. Mm -hmm. With one way in, one way out. That would get over here. Yeah. And remember, this isn't this isn't going anywhere. This is the part the excited turn. Oh, Again, right. think of it as yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So you saw solitaire from the office. Yes. Here it is. Be, the jailer could put several guys back in there, and you maybe even sit down depending on how you know how many people are back there. Right. You were asking about the board. Um, yeah. yeah. One of our board members has been here for years doing maintenance, <laughs> and he also uh, does some of the overnights. So, but he told me and Kat that, I, that we worked together that the board was somewhere over here. By Mm -hmm. And so when they were doing the ghost adventure stuff, did they, I'm going to have to go back and watch it now, but did they see anything over here? Or was it different places? Not that I remember. I've only seen that episode once. Mm -hmm. um, so. And it, it doesn't bother you that wants to be here by yourself. That says a lot. <laughs> I mean, I think you would know if it was something ominous. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah, Pat, um, it's been a couple years ago, but he was doing some and please keys down. So he did it like that, his keys were gone. That's why we have our keys attached. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> and, and he found them in the desk drawer when he was the only one there. So. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So you Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right, right. So Jim, right here. 
has been here at least five times that I can think of. He comes with his wife, his kids, grandchildren, and all that. Yeah, he was here in the 60s for 60 days. He had a suspended driver's license. Oh, I never got him here for that. Ah. Skip Thompson's name, most of it's here. He's been here three times, that I can remember. So he did, every, each time he's across, he goes, just like that, look at that. I wasn't here long <laughs> enough to get my whole name in. <laughs> uh, his parents brought him here as a scared straight measure, and it worked. <laughs> nice. And you can see how you can like, injure yourself. You think, oh, I'm stuck here, how am I going to get out? Hmm. I break my wrist or arm. I can escape the rapture from the hospital. Well, mm -hmm. it didn't work for long, they put a hospital in the building. <laughs> During the day, for the most part, they were out here. So it's not, it's a little bit better. Because they had to come over to those tables to get their food. Mm -hmm. And then you're back in your after dinner. Yeah. So, yeah, you're doing this kind of thing. Trying to break your arm or yeah. something. Uh -huh. Last year, this lady came and she rushed in the front door. And it wasn't time to close. But she said, oh, I made it. I haven't been here in 70 years. Her grandfather was one of the jailers. Oh, okay. So she pointed some things out that we didn't know and confirmed a few other things. Uh, she said she spent a lot of time here as a child, mostly in the kitchen and the office. Uh, anytime her grandfather had to turn the cage, he would make an announcement coming around. So we know that for a fact. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm hopeful that the other jailers had the same courtesy, probably. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. You didn't have more problems if you didn't tell them. Yeah. Right. And I think the cage probably turned a lot. As people were admitted, released, mm -hmm. out during the day, back in here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. the hell <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. The box that's on the wall, there's several of those on this level. That's for coal. Okay. Mostly what's in there is cigarettes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Gotcha. was originally cells. This is where they had women inmates in the day. There's evidence not only from the gate, but the ceiling and then the bathroom that this was cells. It looked like juvenile detention in reverse. Yeah. Okay. But if you think about it, the jailer's in bed on the fourth floor and has to come down all those stairs over and over. And one of the last jailers had enough of the stairs. He said, can we move closer to the door? And so that's when it changed mm -hmm. to their bedroom, basically. Yeah, we tried to stage the entire building as if the jail was still operating as the jail. When they closed the jail, that was the jail, they pretty much left everything. So a lot of what you see is original and of course that's not. Yeah. I think it's pretty amazing. 
how old, I mean, how authentic mm -hmm. it still looks. Yeah. So we went and did the tour. It was awesome. The tour guides there are amazing at Squirrel Cage Jail. Um, this is where we were going to put in our final video. We, we recorded the final on the way back from the Squirrel Cage Jail. And then when we got home, we decided that we're going to go to the flashlight tour on Halloween night, which I've been wanting to do forever. So there's going to be a part two to this uh, in a couple of weeks. Well, it's going to be interesting because one of the guides there will not let you use a flashlight at all. So it'll be interesting to see which one we get. Mm -hmm. Anyway. So <laughs> we'll be back with part two of this in a couple of weeks here. We'll see you soon. Bye. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And... And make sure you click the notification button. It's the little bell on the screen. Click that because then you'll be able to know as soon as we publish um, the second part of this video for the scary, scary part of it. All right, see you soon. Bye again. Bye. inside here for the last 10 minutes waiting for the AC to turn off next door we decided to go ahead and do it with the AC running next door then a motorcycle starts going <laughs> in the neighborhood <laughs>